on a snowy day at this rural horse farm, it's not only the horses that are cozy and warm inside. Duchess Kate is also warm and dry in her comfy home. She may have a fancy name, but this Duchess has humble beginnings. Kate was recently rescued and is being fostered here on the farm. Just days after her rescue, Kate gave birth to a litter of pups. Four girls and four boys. Though the litter is perfectly matched in gender, they're not so matched in appearance. They're a mixed bag because their mom is a mixed breed. She's believed to be mostly retriever, but both her past and the identity of the pup's dad are a mystery. It seems Duchess Kate got some who look a lot like her, like this dark beauty named Polly. Others who look a little like her, and one who doesn't look like her at all. This is Maxwell. And with these rather special speckles, he doesn't exactly blend in. When it's cold outside, the best place inside seems to be right on top of a sibling. Dark pup Polly seems to have no trouble pushing her way into the prime cozy spots. But mottle-coated Maxwell seems to be always on the outskirts. And with his eyes still closed, his attempt to find mom and join the family meal ends up in a rather unfulfilling lunch. Luckily, Maxwell's got a mom who's part retriever. And Kate soon brings her wayward one back to her mixed bag family. Where speckled Maxwell is guided to a more successful lunch. The snow has melted in the paddocks of the farm. And the scene has also changed for the retriever mixes indoors. Duchess Kate's mixed bag of eight pups are now three weeks old and up on their paws. Well, for the most part. But while bold Polly and the rest of the pack band together, the only speckled pup, Maxwell, is having a little trouble blending in because the harder Maxwell tries to find a friend, the less his siblings seem to notice him. But Maxwell doesn't seem to mind too much when he's got his stuffed pony pal to tussle with. With all the cooped up energy inside, it's time for the pups to take an early field trip out to the horse farm. But once they arrive at their destination, no one's brave enough to bust out of the basket. Maxwell is quite happy not going anywhere. For once, he's right in the middle of everything. Polly, whether she's ready or not, is out of the basket and into this new frontier. Then, one by one, the siblings scatter. Leaving Maxwell in a basket for one. Maxwell's not quite ready to meet these large beasts and puts a pause on his search for a playmate until the puppy pack 
is gathered up for their journey home. At the Retriever Mix Horse Farm, two weeks has given the eight pups a little more enthusiasm about the great outdoors, and now they're raring to go. But for little legs, it's one step at a time. Dark-coated Polly is the first to ease her way outside. But soon the rest of the mixed bag falls in behind. All that is except speckled Maxwell. This odd man out is always getting left behind in this pack. But from his vantage point, Maxwell spots a familiar face. Now that he's a bit older and braver than the last time they met, Maxwell decides to see if this neighbor could be the right fit for a friend. But the lofty beast is elusive. No matter. The door to his home is wide open. And Maxwell lets himself in. That big beast can't just have disappeared. But this strange new world doesn't seem to hold any potential playmates. And suddenly, Maxwell feels like he doesn't quite belong here. Luckily, help is on the way. It seems Mom Duchess Kate's retrieving skills won't go rusty with this pup around. At least Maxwell can always count on Mom to be at his side. 